Which calculator you want, Nick? And now, our feature presentation. Happy birthday, Chris Hardwick. What? Yeah, happy birthday. Hey, welcome, one of all, tonight, 4.55 of Fashion Now Live here on Discord. I got Eugene, I'll be myself, Jay, and Chap. And this is tonight. The Saturday before Thanksgiving, so hey, happy Thanksgiving, one of all. Hope your Thanksgiving will be as forgiven as any other Thanksgivings. And don't forget to give thanks to what and to who or just anything. Just give thanks this year. Shut up. <laughs> I heard that train too. Oh, man. Perils of living next to four different railroads. Choo choo. <laughs> oh, At least you don't hear locomotive saying, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's going to. Oh, man. I was gonna fool any anybody. So, <laughs> wow. So tonight's lineups is our tenth game one of Jeopardy two thousand and three for the PC. Then this is the Saturday before Thanksgiving, so we all know what that means. Our redemption night yet again, and this is our tenth. Redemption night. So the two games I'm going to play back again is Pinball Crest for the NES and Space Invaders for the N64. A well good classic game with a twist. Damn good twist if, if you can ask me. So that's, that's the lineup. And now our word of the week. Tonight's word of the week is Ansret. Hmm. Hmm. I regret to inform you guys that that was an MC Chap creation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Present Dame Dictionary. Oh, shit. There it is. Ansret. I was trying to uh, PM Ben and I was saying uh, something happened last night. If you ping me after 11 on a weeknight, I probably won't end sweat instead of answer. Oops. And I decided to give it a definition and, and that is a response, a response to a seductive question that makes you moist, makes you ants sweat. And that means moist as coming from the head and or armpits. Oops. So... That's, that's the word of the week. Mm, you're welcome. Yeah, oops, sorry. So, there we go. We 
got the games, we got these guys, so... Eh. So grab a drink, get a snack, no. Get a snack, grab a drink. Cause when we come back... It's... It's Jeopardy! 2003, PC. Our 10th game one that I can't believe we're still going. Question is... How far can we go on it? That is when... We, we come back. Yep. When we come And welcome back to Astronaut. Yeah. If you are looking outside, it's hella foggy. You can't see shit outside. No. Literally. You can't see another light in miles. Damn. The NI episode of That's Not As Foggy. And boy, it just came into the place. It's really foggy outside. And cold, too. It's supposed to be in the 30s. But it's probably late night. It's going to be in the 20s. So it's going to be cold enough to snow. And I don't want that to happen. So... And, yep, gonna come along, there it, yeah, wanna show the light again, this I got two this time, you see the light from last week I showed you, this is from 454, now it's at 455, but, yes, I am now recording, now it says now record, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it says now record my channel name, and what episode we are? 9455. And it's time for our 10th game, one of Jeopardy 2003 for the, P for the PC. So far, nine games. If I could get my camera on what is straight. There we go. So far, 10 games, more minimum by the way. For 9 games, we're at $235,700. No more. Normal game? Okay, so how many one. people are out there? Player 1? As always. There we go. Player 1, here's your buzz in key. Actually, maybe I should too. If I am down at 50. Let's get this show on the road. From the Sony Pictures Studio. I mean, you guys can hear it, right? This is Jeopardy! Awesome. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rebeck. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to another game of Jeopardy, everybody. The first round categories are as follows. Beverages. Beverages, okay. African capital. Uh-oh. Before and after. A dump. Novel first lines. Ew. They're unreal, we think. <laughs> and our last category. <laughs> there you go. Speaking of singers, you know what? All right, let's get things underway, player one. I think you should start with African capitals. All right, African player capitals one, two. two. Algiers. Player one. Algeria. What is Algeria? Precisely. Pick again. Four <laughs> men. Cartoon. Sudan. What is Sudan? <laughs> yes. And pet hang on. And Yeah, there's Pebbles. She just came in this time. Pebbles. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, well, 
Uh, I'm PS second, folks. Let me, uh... Hi, everybody out there watching SNR. Oh, there we go. That's off me. I know what y'all are thinking. Oz, where have you been? I was taking a bath. Oh, there we go. Oz, where have you been? Probably, I'm probably, a idea. Six hundred African capitals. Rabat. Morocco. 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 Rabat is the capital of Morocco. M O R C C O. M O R O C C O. There's two C's. Oh, okay. M O R O C C O. Exactly. Morocco. Okay, there, there we go. go. 800. Nairobi. Kenya! Kenya! Why is Kenya? Hey, you're correct. Spanish. Kampala. Uganda! Uganda. Ah. U-G-A-N-D-A. Uganda. Why is Uganda? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Sing is for two. Where in the world is Christina took her speech no, up on the line in wrong route sixty six. There you go. Why is Viola? Who is Winona? <gasps> it was her. So pick again. That's for sure. Pick again. And after I finish my bath, I was talking to Crystal. Understandable. Mm-hmm. I should have for you. And we'll figure out something to get together soon. I said, sounds good to me, honey bunny. Yeah, boy. Hey, Jay. Singer. Yeah. For four you know how Eric is your bunny? In her teens, this queen of soul toured with the new Bethel Choir. It was Aretha Franklin. And you know how Eric is your bunny? Player one. Yeah. I call Crystal my honey bunny. Uh, it was Aretha Franklin. Exactly. And I should have rung in for I know that. Yeah. And. And the what? Yeah. That's how Rowan Atkinson sang it in Rat Race. And the why in the um why know the chat? I should have rung in. Like Rowan Atkinson for that one. Yeah. Six hundred. She and Bobby Brown have something huh? in common. That was the duet they sang on his 1992 album. Who was Whitney? Oh, who was Whitney Houston? Yeah. yeah. That's a shame. Hey, you're correct. Hey, Hundo. This Wayne had a way with and a hit with Donka Shane. Who was Wayne Newton? Mr. Las Vegas himself. Precisely. Pick again. We'll finish. This singer's father, Jose Fajardo, was once a bodyguard to Cuban President Batista. Oh, Player who one. was a uh, Gloria Stefan? Hey, you're correct. There will, we think, for 200. Giant footprints in the snow are thought to support the existence of this Himalayan creature. What is the abominable <laughs> snowman? What is the abominable snowman? Beat me to and the punch! Oh, boy. they're unreal, we think. For 400? Wartime British pilots coined this term for the goblins messing with their airplanes. <laughs> Player two? What are gremlins? <laughs> God damn. Yes! Good. Gremlins. You alright? Like? They're unreal, we think. For 600. Sinbad the sailor had trouble with a one eyed giant similar to what the one who calls this. Hey! Hey! Nom nom nom. Cyclops. Precisely. Reminds me of life. Hey, Hendo. An Irishman's greatness can be gauged by how many of these moaning spirits foretell his death. Player three. What are That's like all the just so cute. Hey, you're correct. Oh, banshees. Mm. Give me novel's first lines for 200. 
He was an old man. Well, I never got him the last night's game, but at least I got to be in the Gulf Street. So I was happy about that. Player one. What is the all man in the sea? Exactly. Hmm. Finish the wheel, we think. 16th century France was plagued with reports of these hairy monsters the French call loup garous. Where three? What are werewolves? Yes. Oh. Oh. I'll take beverages for 200. Punchy is the mascot of this island beverage. Was Hawaiian Punch. Precisely. Pick again here. Ben, we can't hear you. Yeah, on a second, folks. I think mine's a fucking tipped. Ugh. Hang on. Great. Don't you love technical bullshit? Hang on, I'm getting, um. I'm getting the others coming back on. It'll take me a moment. Hang on, guys. Just bear with me on this. I am. Oh, don't tell me. Down up on this call. I'm getting the guys back in. Hang on a second. It'll probably take a while. Do 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 do. Okay, it's coming. In regards to your birthday special. There we go. Although I originally said I had no plans to do it, I decided to have a change of heart. I will do the Nintendo Switch version of Jeopardy. Ah. Uh, yeah. Alright. I mean, I'm disappointed with that game, but hey. Alright. Uh, it works. Yeah. It works. Can you hear me? Will the PS4 version be included too? Yes, it will. Alright. Are you ready, Ben? Yeah, I'm ready. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going up with That's this okay, one. Carry on. <coughs> right, here we go. We're back on. Uh, beverages for four. Drank over 30 cups of this a day, preferring it mocha, flavored with chocolate. Player one. What is coffee? Definitely. Ew. Ow, what's up, Ow. Thank you, Team Fallon. Six hundred. In 1967, it was named the official oh, state beverage of Florida. Player one. What is orange juice? I'd rather have tea. I like exactly. Juice. I drink one cup of coffee every morning, but I consume more tea than I do coffee. There you go. 800 beverages. In TV commercials, Britney Spears celebrated the joy of this cola. Slash Pepsi. Pepsi. Hey, that's not Pepsi. That's yes. Pepsi Twist. And that's not Britney Spears. <laughs> Thousand. This brand of root beer has bite, according to its slogan. Oh. Know, what is Barks? I was just going about to ring in. Fuck. Do they? Okay. Before and after. I don't. 200? 
A.A. Milne boy who stole from the rich to give to the poor. Who is Christopher Robin Hood? Yeah. Christopher Robin Hood. Who is Christopher Robin Hood? Yes. Before and after a dump for 400. Popular sax playing war action figure. Kenny, G.I. Joe. Too late. Uh, Again! Uh, oh, the shirt. Me. I, no. Oh, For 600. Oh, Instructor's oh, favorite yeah. West End girls group. Well, I dropped the FM, so I have to get pumped. What is teacher's pet shop Not boy? Not now. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, yeah, get away with it. Teacher's... Right, wait, wait, wait. I need to hear the answer. After. For 800. Okay. It was... Okay, for that one was the teacher's pet shop boys. <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. And answer. The daily oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dang it. Fuck him. Fuck him. Away, He's going 2000. Oh, Exclamation point. Who played Luke Skywalker? Player two. Who is punctuation Mark Hamill? Exactly. <laughs> Five. Dog patch resident who claims to have invented baseball. Player two. Who is little Abner Doubleday? Yes. Little Abner. Oh, yeah. Abner Doubleday. Novel first lines for four hundred. Here we go. The Salinas Valley is in Northern California. Player one. All I can ever think of is the Grapes of Wrath. Try it. See, see if it is. Oh, it that's show. incorrect. Nope. Uh, uh, I said men. Take a look. Here's the right response. East of Eden. Novels of oh, lines. Wow. 600. <sighs> it was Wang Lung's marriage day. Player three. What is the good earth? Hey, you're correct. Never heard of it. Uh, I think we lost him again. Novel's first lines. Huh? Halfway down a by street of one of our New England towns stands a rusty wooden house. Player three. What is the house of the seven gables? Exactly. Now to finish off the round. Second fucking time. Yeah, second folks. I'm getting the guys back on, just hold on a second. I know I've gone over the time on the Jeopardy one, but when I get the guys back in, hopefully, uh, we will, what we're going to do is just pause for the first part and just come back in and do double Jeopardy if the guys can hear me. Just upgrading now. I'm having like real. I'm having technical BS with this corn. <sighs> Oops! I'm sorry about that too, folks. Yeah. 
this is how much of a bullshit I'm really gonna weigh in assist. Check your full updates. I know I quit on Discord on that. And now I'm gonna give about 60 seconds. Ugh. I got no internet? What? Hang on a second, folks. Oh my god, what the fuck? Second drink of water and I put the glass down so fast that the water splashed in my face. There we go. Chapo. <laughs> Welcome back. Why right now we're gonna take a look at that one last clue and then we're gonna go straight to double jeopardy. We're not talking about we're not talking about the movie. Yeah. So one clue left. It was a bright, cold day in April, and the clocks were striking thirteen. What is nineteen eighty four? Oh, exactly. Right? One. Yeah, nineteen eighty four. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're gonna take a quick look at the scores. How are we doing? Excellent job, player. 8400 to 5800, 4200, player 3. So, player 2 is really not to mess about. But now, we're going straight to double jeopardy. It's now time for double jeopardy. Here we go. Double jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round Quotable women. Quotable women? Pilgrims. Okay. Pilgrims. Space flight. Space flight. World War One. Uh oh. World War One. Villainous movie schemes. Villainous movie schemes, and finally, playing, playing politics. politics. Oh, brother. Um. You know what? Why did you for four hundred? Okay. This talk show host said in 1988, "If there never had been a Phil, there never would have been a me." Sally. Kevin Sally says it's Oprah. Definitely. It was Oprah. Oprah. Quotable God women <laughs> for 800. Carol Burnett quipped that doing this is like taking your lower lip and forcing it over your head. Giving birth. Giving her one. Nice giving birth. Precisely. Pick again. Trial find it. Jacqueline Rogue said of him. If my husband ever met a woman who looked like one of his paintings, he would faint. Player two? Who is Pablo Picasso? Yes. <laughs> I thought it was Andy Warhol. <coughs> Quotable women Picasso for 1,600. This yeah. cartoonist calls mothers, food, love, and career the four major guilt groups. Charles Who is Kathy Guys White? Precisely. Who? Guys White. Let's go for World War One for four hundred. Battles on this front ran from Liege in 1914 to the Second Battle of the Marne in 1918. It was rarely quiet. Player two. What is the Western Front? Western. That's it. Do know your uh, history. <laughs> World War One for eight hundred. This treaty that ended World War One was repudiated by Hitler in nineteen thirty-five. What is Versailles? Player one. What was what? 
for Sai. S A R S A I L L E S. Thank you. Well, that's for Siles. Exactly. Phew. Okay. Finish that quotable women too. Yes! That's one. And even 10,000 to play it to 7,800 to 5,800. Make it 20,000. Fuck it. Whoa, not 100,000! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you are all a lost generation. Player one. She told an inseminary you are all a lost generation. Oh. Okay, time out. <laughs> nope. Shit. That is incorrect. Who was it? What we were looking for. Good to this. Stein. Stein. World War One, twelve hundred. Four of this U.S. Air Ace's twenty-six confirmed victories were balloons. Player two? Who was Eddie Rickenbacker? Exactly. Rickenbacker. I'm very, I'm very bad at war. For 1,600. <laughs> the Tantan was sunk, but the French battleship, named for this Candide author, survived the war. Player two? Who was Voltaire? Definitely. Eleven. When you get the chance to go for, for 2,000. Nickname for the granddaughter of arms maker Alfred Krupp, this howitzer weighed 43 tons. Wait, two, camel? What is Big Bertha? Precisely. Oh. Pick again. Let's do playing politics for 400. A former secretary of housing and urban development and Bob Dole's running mate in 1996. Who, Wait, is? Who is Jack Kemp? Kemp. He's the one we were looking for. Yes. Ah. Uh. Playing politics for 800? Harvey Gant, Charlotte's first black mayor, has twice lost to this man for a North Carolina Senate seat. So John Edwards? Three. Who is Jesse Helms? Precisely. Helms. Pick again. North Carolina. Oh. Space flight for four Space flight. Here we go. In 1959, the Russian probe Luna 1 came within about 4,000 miles of this body, and Luna 2 hit it. What's the moon? What's an asteroid? The moon. The moon. The moon, you dumbass. Oh, what's the moon? Luna. Definitely. Oh, Luna, moon, duh. Okay. <laughs> hey, Henry. The U.S. launched its first satellite in 1958, while the second in the Soviet program was orbiting. What is near? Yeah. Where was Sputnik? Sputnik. Was Sputnik? Exactly. Okay. It's not to me, it has to be the Sputnik. In the early 1970s, Pioneer 10 and 11 slipped through this belt to wow. reach Jupiter. Player one. The asteroid belt. Now it's the time for the asteroid belt. Hey, you're correct. Gordon Cooper was the last astronaut launched in this first U.S. manned space program. Mercury. Mercury. Yep. One. Well, Mercury is program. Mercury. Exactly. Finish. The 1960s rocket that shared its name with this planet only went as far as Earth's moon. Saturn. You'll just watch Saturn. this. We'll show you the clue. Why is that in? Yes. Phew. Okay. You're gonna have to start hunting. You're gonna have to start going for bigger dollar values now. Twelve hundred. In 1956, this Tennessee senator lost a vote for nomination to be vice president. His son did better in 1992. Player two. Who is Albert Gore? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, playing politics yeah. for sixteen hundred. 
This Pennsylvania senator and heir to a ketchup fortune died in a 1991 plane crash. Player one. Was. Is it E I or I E? E I. E I. That's who we were looking for. Wanna make sure the spelling. Finish. This GOP candidate weakened the Democratic Party's hold on the South when he carried five southern states in 1964. Player two? It was Barry Goldwater. Exactly. Oh, let's go, Water. Give me pilgrims for 400. Thousands of pilgrims gather annually in Cairo and Damascus to join caravans to make the Hajj to this holy city. Player one. Wait, say it again. Mecca, what is Mecca? Mecca, try, try Mecca. What is Mecca? Definitely. There you go. Oh, crap. And it's going straight down. This religion has seven holy cities of pilgrimage, including Varanasi and Ayad Hia. Oh, shit. Anybody? What is India? No. Player one. The, uh, religion, not country. Oh, what is Hinduism? Precisely. Huh. There you go. Pick again. <laughs> Spelling, though. 1200. In 1623, he married fellow pilgrim Priscilla Mullins. Player John three. Who, is, who was John Alden? That's who we were looking for. It was a John, though. So. A lot of Johns back then. How about villainous movie schemes for 400? Okay, let's go for that. In Space Jam, the alien nerdlucks kidnap Looney Tunes stars who turn to this best for help. Who is MJ? Michael Jordan. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jail. Exactly. 800 Fantasy Movie Schemes. Rebecca De Mornay, not Fran Drescher, uses this job to get revenge in The, the Nanny that Rocks the Crazy. Nanny. The nanny. Player one. Yeah, she was the nanny in the movie The Hand That Rocks the Crazy. Well, that's the nanny. Oh, yeah, Fran Drescher was yes. also a giveaway. Oh, yeah, Fran Drescher, top 100. 1988 Bruce Willis film in which Alan Did I ha! a high rise building to steal bonds. I like Alan Rickman. That Rick is Die Hard. Oh, yeah, Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. And it's not a Christmas exactly. movie, goddamn you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't know what was set. Shut the fuck up. Even though it was set during Christmas time. It was set during the Christmas time, it's not a Christmas movie. Yippee ki uh, yay, motherfucker. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. Ben's on my, Ben's on my goddamn side. Yeah. It's it was set in Christmas, but it was not a Christmas movie, because the best of the Christmas movie has to be Home Alone. Duh. All right, it's not a Christmas movie. It's okay. debatable. It was debatable. Moving on. Moving, debatable. On. Moving on. And I'll put it this way. Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. Let's go. And this was before Alan Rickman became Snape in the Harry Potter. 1996 John Woo film in which John Travolta takes time out from his job as a pilot Broken to steal bombs. Player yeah. one. It is definitely Broken Arrow. Oh, Aubrey, I love you. Yes. Yes. Finish. Finish. Do a double. Do a double. No. It's the other one. In a 1973 film, Edward Fox, as an assassin with the code name of this other canine, tried to kill Charles de Gaulle. Player three. Good, fellas? What is the jackal? Precisely. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh that's right. Canine. Jackal. I'll take pilgrims yeah. for 1,600. About three million pilgrims a year visit this city on the Gave de Pau stream uh -oh. near the Pyrenees in France. Oh, there it goes again. Player one. Oh, man. <coughs> Where's Paris? That is incorrect. Oh, God, my mouth's so dry. Player two? What is Lourdes? Oh, gosh. Definitely. Fuck. <laughs> and he has the daily double, so... It's 2000. Each year, many Buddhist pilgrims visit the site 
at Bad Gaya, where this once grew. Player two, what is the bow tree? Hey, you're correct. 198. It's, it's still not a one away. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out. It's the still scores. not a one away. You've got the lead going into final jeopardy, player two. Player one, you're not far off the lead now. You can still come back, player three. Still not a one away. Folks. Final jeopardy. Final jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Well, we got. Criminal pairs. It's over. It's fucking over. Go ahead. Make your wager. And I know it. I fucking know who they are. Have your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. But I gotta wait for Discord to come back up. It's criminal pairs, and I know who they are. And I got a freaking in it again. Hang on a second, folks. Yep, it just went out kaput. Oh man. Guys. I think I got no choice. Ah, oh, but I wanna shoot a moment with the guys. Hang on one pure sec. I am so like having this freaking issue. I'm in. All I got to do is just get into Discord. The uh, final daily double, he's at 19,800. We're in second place. We're in second place with 11,200. Player 3 has 9,800. Final Jeopardy category is criminal pairs, and we're going all in. Go all in, I know who they are. Criminal pairs, and I know who they are. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. 198. A new Ford V8 stolen by this pair in Topeka on well, April 29, 1934, became world famous a few weeks yeah. later. Got it. It's over. Let's see how everyone It's did. over. Your question, player. Baby three. face. That's nope. not right, I'm sorry. And your wager? All of it. Bonnie and Clyde. One. Your question? Very good. What was your wager? All of it. Twenty two four. Question, player two. Sorry, that's wrong. We got it! Did it cost you? <laughs> My god! Congratulations to our big winner. Twenty two four best that pulling it out of our ass. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Oh, Come back and see us again. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Just get a few details. Before we start our game. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. First, no, and second, don't even try, you bastard. <laughs> Since when I live in Denver. No. I can't. <laughs> I just fought it after that. Oh, I need, I need, I need your food. Thank you, people, Mockery and Styles. So that's 22,400. 
Just barely. Just barely over a quarter of a million. Oh, come on. 258,100. <coughs> Just barely with another snipe. Jesus Christ. So when we do this again in December, oh, the yeah. the first Saturday in December, game 11, and we are still sniping. Wait, wait, wait. It's going to be November 30th. I don't know what... Wait a minute. No, because the next time we're going to do the Jeopardy game one will be December 7th. Because oh, next... So, so yeah, oh, next... So you're, put, you're putting off a week? Yeah, I'm putting off all week. Because oh, next okay. week is Friday week again. I don't know shit about this show. That's all right. We we'll always do varieties the last Saturday of the month. Okay. And then our normal game ones will be from the first to near the end Saturday month. I'm sorry, go ahead. That's right. So there you go. That's our game. That's our one. That was our fun. So, hey. It's gonna continue, stay tuned. <laughs> Until we're gonna lose. Oh. <laughs> so, let's see how game 11's gonna be December 7th. Mm. So, anyway. When we come back, Redemption Night number 10. <laughs> <laughs> <It's not changed. laughs> and, um, yeah, um, I don't think I have next. <laughs> Bingo! Uh, oh my god. No, it doesn't, Eugene. It doesn't. <laughs> when we come back, Redemption Night 10, and which I'm gonna tackle yet again, Pinball Chris for the <laughs> NES. Oh my god. That is when we get back. White. Hello. Hey. Welcome back to Astronaut White Now. This is. This is. Our tent redemption I hear. As always. It's, um, yeah, it's fun. Now, if you don't know what's Redemption Night, let's scale back on them. Now, Redemption Night is, is when I take two gameplays, again, the past previous gameplays, that I game over on is you see that I got far no rephrase this you see that I didn't get far or oh, a level that's really haunting me but it gets to the point that I'm gonna beat it Hmm. No. I'll pick the two games again from that console and give it a one push gameplay that that I could go as far or I'm gonna beat it. At some chances I may beat the game the first time I'll play the game again the second time to redeem. Or in other words, there we go. 
Oh, in other words, repair not to die. So, the two gameplays I'm gonna play again is the first one, as you see right on the screen, Pinball Crest. So, let's go ahead and do RPG mode. I didn't fart it. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you wish I could fart. Huh? Ah. What? I didn't get the uh, flipper. I need to get to the ghost. Oh my god, what the fuck? There we go! I've been waiting for you. You look like you're really on the ball, Chuckle. That's what she said. I need your help to save the princess. The princess has been captured, has been captured, has been kidnapped, and is being held captive further north in the castle. Oh god. Destroy the monsters that stand in your way and increase your attack strength. I am sorry, I cannot give you more help. This sounds suspiciously like a Mario game. <laughs> I used to be a soldier in the King's Army, but now I'm just a spirit walking on... No, I'm just a spirit walking the earth. Now I gotta do a system. Well, you can hear me again? Can you hear me? Oh, not again. Now it's on this one? Gotta get on top. I know what's gonna come in the first car. I made it. Oh, I forgot. Oops! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, now I'm really having struggle again with the first, so uh, just bear with, just bear with me on this. Hey, 
There we go. Oh, I got my ball saved. Hello. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, I never had any issues like this. And now I'm really having freaking issues now. What? And I didn't mean to tilt. Oh my gosh. I'm really now having issues with this. The first boss, and I beat it. First try. Got the key. I'm in. Turn in blue. Did he just kick me out? Fucking asshole. just fucking kicked me out. What a dick. You know what? No more Mr. Nice Guy. Thank you. 
No! Now this is really turning to be a first level of a major like a pain in the ass. Team I can't even fucking beat. Oh my god. I need to get into the top. And now I'm gonna have fucking issues. Shh. Last time I got in. And I got the key. in. Second boss, I can't even think of it. Now I gotta get back up to the top. Oh my god. What the? God, what the fuck? The key is back up top. Can I get back on top? Please? Oh my god. Really? To get to the castle, then I'll go for my last shot of getting past number two. The last time I did this, I got all the way to the two. And now I'm having trouble beating number two. I'm in. Go back on top again. Oh, come the fuck on. I 
now I got a boss. B. Almost like, don't well, forget you, boss. I'm going back up. Last shot at this. Yes. <gasps> no, get on top. Yes. No. Guess what? Me says yeah. Well, forget the crest, Paul. Let's play some pinball at least. Wow, this is actually one of my favorite pinball games on this. No, we'll play all three. This is one that has a boring pin thing. Ooh, and I just barely saved on that. All I gotta do is just get right into the middle. There we go. And then another shot. I like them like them. One ball left, and I gotta reach up from scratch again. <laughs> I think that's it. 77. I wanna try this again, cause this was... Whoops. This happens to be one of my lucky pinball machines out there. And I know I can score a high, a really good high score on too. Pick up one pin. I'm in. Oh, 
come in again. So let's see how well I can do on this. That's one. Oh my god, what the fuck. Oh, I can't get through that. <laughs> I just barely made. Barely made it safe, I went back down. Well, ball number one gone. I'm on ball number two. And <laughs> just went down again. One last ball to go. I just made it! I just need to get to the pen. The there we go. I tilled it and I got it in. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know, right? So I'll get it uploaded. per ball. No, it's a hundred thousand. Nope. Yeah, it's 
Thanks, Kevin. Same. Fuck! Oh well. <laughs> Out of Pop Pop. 550,000. Oh no, I get an extra ball. Hello. Okay. That's. Well, that was a waste. 550,000 for 30. Oh, bad. Five, Beaver, Beaver, go. That's your name. Beaver, go. What happened? And there goes that. 7590. Uh, the Govers are back out to play. I'm not gonna get that one pretty much. One ball. Left. Ball number one, then there's good. No, what a hazard. Well, that fucking sucks. One more. Come on. I hit all the gophers, and then I could get to the hole. And... 18-140. So this is the last one. Oh, that's gonna go up, huh? Come on. Ooh. Almost. Almost a jackpot. Ah, oh, I want to get back on top again. Ooh, that was a save. I mean... Oops, I poo though. I need I Thank you, Jet Mockery.
And I can save on that. 34,900. Last fall on Circuit Circus, and then we will play one more on Circuit Circus, and that's it. to that. 500 points. Only 60 away for 56,900. That's it for a uh, Pimmel Crest. Come on, next here on that snow is the final segment, and that is gonna be Base Invaders for the N64. That is when we get back. Alright, walk back. One more game in the Redemption Night. Image I'm gonna tackle yet again, and this is Space Invaders for the N64. Now, the last time I did Space Invaders for the N64 was to start a season four of Astronaut, and I got all the way, I think, to the boss in Saturn. I'll probably say that in. But it's been a while. So I thought, mm, making a good comeback. We're gonna play this game again. That's why. 
Because why not? So here we go. We're gonna play... Uh... We're gonna go in the planets backwards, starting with the extinct planet, Pluto. And... Pebbles, you gotta let me play, okay? Here we go. Pluto, level one. I miss the ship. Got it. All right. There we 
I got that. Come on. Boss time. Hell yeah. Oh no, 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 that can't be. Wow, just barely on that shot. I mean, two shots. There we go. Done it. Now, let's do the mother ships again.
I didn't miss like a Goomba this time. And I got my shield. Hey, this is... Oh, man. This time, I stopped here. again Yeah, that's it. And now I'm on the eighth planet from the sun. Neptune. Oh, 
Ah! Couldn't even play that. I couldn't even play that. Wow, that made level seven. Much enjoyable to watch. It's not enjoyable to watch, it's enjoyable to uh destroy.
probably in shots like a fucking boy. You're not going down with it, huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you be. What? Oh no! I'm on the seventh planet from the sun. It's not my Uranus. It's your anus. I mean, your anus. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> that is a why when I said it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm on your anus. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm on Uranus. Come down for a bit. I'm on the seventh planet from the sun. And then, like, I need to say that. Yeah, pal, that's a new word of the week. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Well. Laser blazer, huh? Just barely. Yes. 
damn ass. Double shot. One, two, three, four, five. Perfection again. Just cut it out the board that quick. And I missed the ship. Now the boss. Fly up again. I guess we're all gonna club you, ain't it? <laughs> that is a light. Much that there's not someone at all. Holy shit! I didn't think just a that low. Back to the planet I am from. Holy shit. And this is where I met the last time, too. Saturn. No, I'm not from Saturn, from Earth. I originally, I originally said the planet I'm from, no. I came back to the same planet, Saturn. Oh my god.
Fuck him! Ah, motherfucker! Those guys? Oh no, no, those guys! They shoot out their stuff! Motherfucking asshole. God damn it. Gotcha. Other ships.
My god, I'm back to the same boss that got me before. Shit. Holy fucking shit! Damn, I went. I just really nailing on that boss. Holy shit! What was this? Freaking hitting that button like a boss. Well, speaking of that boss, that boss is gone. Now, I'm in the fifth planet from the sun. Jupiter!
Oh my god! I have 7,000. I have never gone this far now. Have a nine. Another boss. This is Jupiter's boss. Oh, is that boss to drop the bomb? Oh, that was it. To level 50? Never gone as far. Okay, before I'm gonna accept. Holy shit! Now I never gone as far on Space Invaders. <laughs> Damn. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, and again, I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, I have never gone as far on Space Invaders as I did back in Season 4. I have never. And again, I repeat, I have never gotten as far. Holy shit. And that boss is dropping bombs. I'm like, holy cow. 
Ow, you have to avoid that, but... Wow. Chess? Wow. Six hundred thirty nine thousand five twenty. And I was at Jupiter's boss. And if I would have gone out, I would have gone to Sad and uh, not to Sad, I would have gone to Mars, even to Earth. And let me be the first to say <sighs> let oh and I will I'm gonna say let me say to this If anybody who hasn't played the original, the classic, and now this version of Space Invaders, there is, on, oh, wait a minute, the Atari 2600 version as well, there. I always forget that version. But anyways, the older versions of Space Invaders, if you don't have that in your collection, boy, there is something wrong with you. <laughs> and I will highly, highly recommend, take yourself a copy, or if you find an arcade cabinet of Space Invaders. Do not pass it up. Go play it. Go play it. It's a lot of fun. Trust me. The mechanics and all. Can't go wrong. Uh, well, that that was good. Another redemption night in the books. Even the last redemption night was pretty good. I think this just tops it a little bit. <laughs> So 9 and 10, both, in the books for this year, 2019. Now, if and when, and I would do say this, if and when, Asnar is pushed for season 10, He didn't hear that one, too. If and when season 10, uh, season 10 of As Not Gets to be Pushed in 2020, and all of that,
Um, the 2020 year of uh, Redemption Night, 11 and 12. <laughs> I'm going to have to top myself to see if I can really get far and all that, but who knows, who knows when. Who knows when in 2020, if we get to push. The yes, no, I envelope. But if we do do ask no, then it'll be great. Season 10. <laughs> Bigger, better, hella better. A lot more than it could be meet, meets the eye. But one thing's for sure. But one thing's for sure is every time I do like gameplays, I always like try to go like how far can I go? Wow. This is a game I'm like really interested in, and I would keep going. But if it's an arcade game, <laughs> that's. Let's just say I could push to the limit, I could really get a good high score like that. Holy shit. Damn. Wow. Alright. Eleven oh six. Yeah, I think we better call this one quits for the night. Ugh. Wow. Night. 4.55 in the books yet again. Now. Now, tune in next week when 4 Are you Let's just say night four fifty six is gonna be right there. Next week it's the end Friday, Saturday where and Saturday where always do Friday what games we're gonna play. I have no idea. But next week it's a lot of fun. Um There we go. What the hell? I think it's my internet connection is shitty. I'll probably have to reset again.
Alright, so now 456 and Saturday, Friday, we don't know what's going on. But let's just say we always got something in store just for fun. Alright, as always, I'd like to thank the guys on Discord for being part in helping out on night 455 of SNR. We, of course, always like, like to thank you for watching. Now, tune us next week. Again. Fun games. These guys. Always here on the channel is like, comment, favorite, sub, sub to the guys as well. But, Liz is on my channel. Excuse me. Yeah, one piece. Uh, as I'm getting back on Discord again, playlist will be on my channel as always. For every other se uh, season episode of SNR, don't forget, check out. There we go. This will be put into the season 9 playlist of SNR. Don't forget to check out on the top left corner of the screen. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget on the top right corner to subscribe. And if you are also a subscriber, if you do subscribe, and if you are also a subscriber, don't forget to ring the bell for notification, as I always do the uploads. And, yeah. Don't forget if you do sub to this channel, you are more likely to check out other content. As in, lot and, as in these guys and myself as well. Moi. So don't forget to do that. And don't forget to follow the channel page on Twitter. As I tweet out of most of the episodes. Don't forget to check that out. The posts. Of when the episode is uploaded. I post on <sighs> What do I always and I post like streams on Trader Twitch, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna hold that off for a bit. Um cloud play and that's it. For these guys, Ben and Seven Twelve A Seven. Oh yeah, and don't forget to follow the guys to uh, on social medias. And for these guys, Ben and Seven Twelve A Seven, signing out.